man who lived on his floor was supported by his customers. People were coming and then I will sign up for you because I want to support you. But after nine months, Alex Hormozzi hired manager. Yeah, this is a story about Alex Hormozzi. He pulled up and walked into the lobby and all the same, the same people were like, oh, boss man here. Oh, you're not good enough for us. He was being so jarred by the experience. And now Alex did what they said. They were rooting for him to do. Now the quote. And that was when I realized that people want you to do well, but not better than them. He had got from underdog to man. His status changed, so behavior other people too. Today our topic status, enemies, friends combined. I really need to think about title of this video, but you've seen this already. So I want you to tell a story about my mom. She was working accountant and she was like in head office, you know, when I was younger, like little boy. She said to me, I need a new watch and I need expensive watch because of my status of my work. And I saw it in my little brain, brain mind, like, why, why does she need it? You can buy a watch for $10 and it would look like the same as watch for $200 and you don't need to spend this much money so we can spend them on the games and whatever I needed on toys. This was really a moment when it shows that status is more valuable than money because she wanted to buy a watch not because of she wanted a watch, but because of her work and acceptance of other people. Because if she don't, she wouldn't fit in in the community of her workspace. Let's come back to the Alex story. He was hated for doing stuff that they wanted. Hatred isn't something you avoid. If you get not hate, it equals that you are not successful. It is indicator to the right path. And there, here goes the story from my life. We were at lessons, like it was free lessons for studying uh, like history, I guess. There was like people who I know already came to this lesson because they were at other events organized by this school. So I know this one girl, her name is Susan, and she wasn't liking me because uh, we had situation. I was like in in argument with her friend and that's why she wasn't respecting me. I was like this and I was that guy. I wasn't drinking, wasn't smoking. So I was like perfect example, you know, so I was better than her. Now I understand this. I was reminding her that she isn't good enough. And one day after this history lesson, I was wearing this tank top and a shirt on me and then like some pants and whatever. But she said like, oh, this color didn't match. You look not good in this. You should change your pants to something else. Many teenagers were there and they were listening to this story. And she was like trying to hit me, trying to make me angry. But what I did, I just didn't say anything i just ignored it and she said second time and third and i was just ignoring it and then i said look at yourself after that we have journey for two days we're living in hotel and i made her my friends from enemy she became my friends because she was obsessed with me but i accepted her and uh, she actually was drinking at this camp and uh, i didn't say anything i didn't say that i don't want you to do this or I angry because you are doing this. I just was like, okay with it and wasn't joining it. And she was telling me some stories and really had like nice time. She really, she really liked me and she just became one of my friends because what I did, I wasn't arguing with her. So she stopped hating me. Enemies can be even better than your friends because you know that enemy hate you and some of your friends can be false friends and you didn't know that they are enemies. You can read about this more in Law 2, in book 48 Laws of Power. But let's back to topic. So you are actually, like I did, was on top of a mountain, of their mountain. You're reminding them think that they haven't done. It's lonely chapter of your life. It's when you don't fit in with your old friends, but you don't have outcome to 
find a new ones. Like Alex had supported after he hired manager only with like this business guys who had much more income than he did only with them and other ones was like oh you don't good enough for us like you can be sad in oh you are not good enough for it mm. but this is the indicator that you are doing the right thing you're losing weight and your fat friends saying oh you don't go with me to this restaurant to eat some junk food to mcdonald's <laughs> and a last story about status so there was a woman who said that she valued money more than status and when she was asked that why don't you drive ferrari because she had this little one and she said oh because ferrari is expensive and it's cost more money than this van but what really happened what if we would get this ferrari for free to her she still wouldn't drive it because this little one was accepted by her community by this woman in her age this moms who were driving the same kind of cars and if she would use ferrari then she wasn't she wouldn't fit in and she would not be accepted so like i said status is more than money and you can take something out of it okay so you are watching this youtube video and you're like uh, not getting the sign of success but if you have hate you really do so the very fact that it's difficult it is indicator that it's worth it now you understand that you are on the right path when your mom say oh you can eat the chunk ice cream if you only eat this once a week because maybe in some way you remind her so summary hate is good thing it's indicator that you are going to be successful enemies can be your friends and friends can also be your enemies status is more valuable than money and doing difficult stuff is worth it so thank you for watching don't be nice be good see you in the next one Wabang.